Hi, how's it going? Uh, I'm Nolan Raposa. I am over the moon to announce my new sponsorship with Salt Life. I'm no fisherman, but I am a surfer and I love all things water. To be joining this team is very exciting. I'm from Long Beach and there's not much waves from there, but uh, I got into surfing with my pops. He took me down to Seal Beach and uh, we'd go surfing every single summer. And then eventually, you know, once I turned like 11 or 12, it became pretty serious and I've been a professional surfer ever since. My career goals for 2024, the big one, would be to qualify for the World Tour. I've been super close the last couple of years, eight spots shy last year, but it's, it's really, I can see it coming in the future. Small goals would be just to improve my health, my strength, also just enjoy life to the fullest that I can. I'm really looking forward to surfing Snapper Rocks for the first Challenger Series event. One and only time I surfed there, I ended up getting third place in that event. Um, I didn't get to compete there last year, but to go there again this next year, I think could be a good turnout. Well, this thing right here definitely has to be my favorite board. This is the Pizel, the Pizalian model. I ride it all over California. It's actually gotten me a third place at the US Open. And I just like how flat it is, how light it is. It's really fast and responsive. I strictly like to ride epoxies in California because the waves are pretty gutless. And yeah, I put the front pad on it, add a little more volume. That's what I like to do if the boards feel a little small on me. But uh, yeah, this thing's what I love to ride around home and anywhere else I can ride it. My professional career, I would say, didn't really start till I was like 16. I didn't know my ability until I surfed in the ISA World Juniors um, with all the best, you know, 16 year olds around the world. I ended up getting third at that contest, so I realized like, okay, I actually am good at surfing, I guess. <laughs> but not till I was like 18 is when I actually started like winning and getting second places and like finaling and stuff in all the junior pros. And that year I ended up winning the North America junior ratings, which felt really good with Griffin and Jake Marshall all competing in the, those events. That's when I hopped onto the qualifying series and it was a big learning process. Um, so many, you know, older like veteran surfers that know how to compete and take advantage of that, you know? But once I think I was, I think I was 20, I was competing in Chile and ended up winning my first WSL um, QS event um, at El Gringo in Chile, which is like really fun way, very scary way, similar to Pipeline. After that, um, COVID hit, WSL shut off. And so then after that, uh, I think it was 2021, um, they picked back up again and I was in the Challenger Series now. And the first event was the US Open, which I've had wild cards into plenty of times, but never had a result um, that I wanted. And um, I ended up finishing third in that contest, which was huge because I've surfed there my whole life and I've always wanted to have a big result and I feel like I can have a bigger result than that but there's you know lots of good surfers in that contest and very nerve-wracking having like my whole family and all my friends there supporting me so I mean it turned out really good and then following that I ended up getting third at Snapper Rocks and then I've had another third place at the US Open so I feel like I've only scratched the surface of a lot of these big events that I've competed in and um, I feel like there's so much more to my future. I'm excited for it. These things are what you want right here. Yeah, this one's sick. Couldn't be happier to be joining the Salt Life family. Thank you guys so much.